Guys, USCMA right now is one of the most in demand and fastest growing courses in the world. And when this is the case, a lot of students ask us a lot of questions about whether a USCMA works well with an undergraduate degree. And that is exactly what we're going to discuss today. A few scenarios and how USCMA will help you with your undergraduate degree and why it is a valuable combination. Hi guys, I'm Rushil. I'm a part of the academics team here at Zell Education. And we at Zell train hundreds and thousands of candidates every year in professional accounting and finance courses such as the USCMA. CMA, the US CPA, ACCA, CFA, Diploma and IFRS. If this is the first time you're visiting our channel, thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And we've made a whole host of videos about the US CMA course. So if that is something that interests you, you'll find all the links in the description box below. Guys, understand one thing. An undergraduation degree, whether it is a BCom, a BAF, a BBA, a BMS is very important in India and it is a must have. A lot of students ask us this question of whether they should pair a USCMA with an undergraduation degree is because they tend to think that it is not easily manageable and the USCMA on its own holds more prestige compared to when coupled with a graduation degree. However, guys, this is honestly not the case. An undergraduation degree and a USCMA together will help you get one step above your colleagues when it comes to, uh, you know, finding jobs, getting better packages, having a, a wider horizon in life. So in this video, I will go through each scenario. We'll break it down into what you should do if you've just cleared your grade 12, what you should do if you're in your first or your second year, and what you should do if you're in your third year. Guys, you need a graduation degree in India to level the playing field. Always keep in mind that you're aiming to outdo what your colleagues are doing. You can only outdo them if you first match them. And the only way you can match them if you also have a graduation degree. So if you're someone who's in their 12th grade right now and looking to get an admission into any, you know, any undergraduation program in any college, what I would recommend you to do is take up USCMA right now. Enroll with one of the top undergraduation colleges in your city or in your locality and take it forward that way. And again, like I am reiterating again, an undergraduation degree is a must. And if you're someone who's in their grade 12 and takes up USCMA the moment, you know, you, you pass grade 12, you are likely to be done with your USCMA before you finish your first year. Now, this enables you to either pursue another professional qualification whilst in your, you're in your second and your third year, or it allows you to get a full time role, which will also boost up your work experience. Guys, one more thing to keep in mind here is if you're taking up the US CMA whilst you're in your, uh, you know, first year or just starting out, understand that you will be learning a lot of concepts in your US CMA that will also be taught somewhere down the line in your undergraduation, regardless of what you do. The US CMA is such a broad qualification and it covers so many aspects of accounting and finance that when it comes to your undergraduation, it will make your life very simple because you will already know more than half the stuff because you've either learned it in USCMA or you've mastered it in USCMA. Now guys, what do you do if you're in your second year? Well, the first thing that I would do if I was you is I would find the common concepts that are covered in my undergraduation and in my USCMA. I would start off with that. So that ensures that I have already covered a chunk of my syllabus in the USCMA and a chunk of my syllabus in my undergraduation degree. That is the first thing you should do. The second thing you should do is you should put three hours a day into studying USCMA and you should put a further hour into studying your undergraduation. Guys, a lot of people tend to think that your undergraduation marks or your grades don't really matter and they're just a formality if you will however this is not the case if you do your undergraduation from one of the top rated institutes in your like i said in your city or if you score very well it is going to help you somewhere down your career so try managing both like i said three hours a day for the uscma one hour a day for your undergraduation lastly for people in their third year what do you do
So if you're someone who's in their third year, what you should be looking at is walking out when you're a graduate with a professional qualification with your graduation and maybe three or four months of work experience. This will give you a big boost when it comes to, uh, you know, progressing in your career, growth in your career. And this is what, sh what you should be looking at. Also, if you're, you know, pursuing your USCMA in your third year, what you should do is you should start a bit of forward planning in terms of what do you do after your USCMA. USCMA, whether that is ACCA or CPA or whether that is in the field of finance with something like CFA or FRM. Now guys, one bonus tip that I have for y'all is if you're someone who's just cleared their grade 12 or are in your first year or second year and are finding it a little difficult you know, to manage your studies and manage other commitments that you may have. Zell offers weekday classes specifically for students such as yourselves. And this might be the right fit for you. And to know more, please get in touch with us. Our numbers are in the description box below. Additionally, we have our own learning management system. We have created this system to ensure that everything is available for our students in-house. We would like you to experience our Zell learning management system. The link to the same is in the description box below. You can find a few free topics and a few free videos to watch about the USCMA that may help you make a decision. Thanks for watching.